Ask Miles Turner what his favorite cheese is, and at one time he might respond Rock 4, or yet Mizet, and still at another time he might say Velveeta. Ask him about his favorite car, and on Monday he might reply a 1986 Plymouth Reliant, while on Friday, if questioned once more, he might then answer the 2015 Kia Sorento LX Sport. In short, he doesn't care much, with passions too deeply rooted, for cheese or automobiles. But ask Miles Turner if an English setter is better than an Irish setter and he will snap back immediately that both are a piece of shit, and that the Gorn setter is the only setter worthy to bear the name of the breed, is the only setter worth breeding, period, that English and Irish setters are two different words for the same uncouth degradation, for rank perversion, for ugly foulness and foul ugliness, two different words that to him mean the same thing, trash. And for you to show him a Gordon setter and he'll show you a fine, noble, a loyal animal that any real true and honest man should be honored to welcome into his family and home. This, as is known to the community of setter breeders worldwide, is no arbitrary judgment, as if forged where chance and a wandering fickle inclination might converge. No. For Turner was raised in Ulysses, Texas, and his tastes and convictions formed there. And Ulysses is known for two things, shaping defensive-minded centers with a three-ball, and for being the unchallenged heart of Gordon Setter breeding in North America, which distinction, in the minds of its citizens, far outstrips any preeminence in youth basketball development, real or imagined. As even those players and coaches who've made careers in basketball would rate Gordon breeding as a calling, and basketball as merely a pleasant and profitable triviality. The lay and transit of the town itself prove, as testamentary articles, the local fixation on Gordon rearing, since Gordons, sacrosanct, are allowed to roam free, the only American analogue of the bovine situation on the Indian subcontinent. And, in fact, into the bylaws of the municipality have been introduced various codes and regulations to promote the health and ensure the safety of its Gordon population, as well as a whole network of bridges, crossings and tunnels, facilitating their unobstructed careers. While Miles Turner does now, after years of growth and success, rate basketball as the chief pursuit of his life, he has yet not abandoned his native regard for the breeding and training of Gordon Setters, and is actively engaged in the trade, as are all sons and daughters of Ulysses, whether they continue to reside there or have been called away to pursue different employments. In fact, as much as he is a fixture just outside the restricted area or beyond the three-point line, so he can be found, on off days and in the off-season, traveling the world to attend Gordon Setter shows, both sanctioned and not. Further, he claims to personally maintain an experimental old Gordon Setter kennel. All of his Gordons there have been trained to hunt bats, an innovation adopted to help prevent further incidences of respiratory plague. Many can perform rudimentary feats of card magic. The younger whelps have been learning how to pick out winning clothing ensembles appropriate to different weathers, many of which Miles can be seen donning as he enters an arena. A select core has been tutored in the art of cohabitation with semi-aquatic mammals, a welcome trait to be bred into the Gordons of Texas, because after the Gordon setter the most popular pets are domestic beavers. Thus Texas. A Gordon that can clean up after a housebound beaver, is a valuable Gordon indeed. Currently, two of Turner's Gordons are being schooled in driving three-axled pickup trucks, both as a novelty for parades and to aid the Ulysses labor pool, which rises or falls locally in inverse proportion to the worldwide price of oil. The labor unions have yet to challenge the program, fearing the might of the Gordon lobby and Miles Turner's presence in the paint. <laughs>